Wall width transitions are easily accomplished by using the quad lock plus panels on the transition layer. When incorporating wall width transition in your project for transitioning from one wall thickness to another, it is important to follow these suggestions. Where transition occurs, only build a maximum of 2 feet above the transition and pour a maximum of 16 inches above the transition. Ensure foam interlocks and the slots are covered to protect them and keep concrete off for ease of continuing on after the pour. A clear advantage of quad lock is the ability to form brick ledges using the special quad lock brick ledge tie or by combining multiple wall cavity sizes. If using the brick ledge tie, the lower portion of the wall should be a 12 inch wall cavity or stepped out to 12 inches using quad lock plus panels. At the elevation where a brick ledge is desired, cut the knobs off the outside panel and insert the black brick ledge ties at the normal 12 inch spacing along the wall. Secure the outside of the brick ledge ties by placing metal track over the top of the panels and tie ends. Now place panels on the upper flanges of the brick ledge ties to form a 6 inch cavity wall and continue to the desired height. When pouring a brick ledge built in this fashion, pour concrete 4 to 6 inches higher than the level of the ledge and make sure concrete is consolidated to the outside of the ledge. Strike off excess concrete from the top of the ledge and wait a few minutes until the first lift begins to set. Pouring concrete at too high a slump in this instant will result in spillage, so check slump carefully and allow for set time. Brick ledge ties can also be used to create a solid ledge to support floor systems when placed to face the inside of the building. If transitions other than 12 inches to 6 inch cavities are needed, start your wall with a larger cavity size and step the wall back to form the ledge using one of the methods shown here and detailed in the product manual. In this method, wire top ties are used in conjunction with narrower plastic ties to form a wall width transition and brick ledge. Brace the transition level with 1x4s as shown. Use 12 inch ties on the bottom row for a 3.5 inch brick ledge. An alternate method would be to screw a 14.5 inch strip of forming plywood to the outside of the ties. Simply pour to the top of the plywood level. Then continue the wall from that level with a second pour. One of the easiest ways to construct a ledger in a quad lock wall is by pre-installing special engineered brackets available through quad lock. To install the brackets, use a laser level to determine the elevation of the ledger, usually the top of floors or roof joists. Strike the line with a chalk line on the surface of the panels. Insert the fixed portion of the ledger bracket through the foam either at a vertical seam or through a cut made with a drywall saw at spacing determined by the project engineer. Try to avoid matching the layout of floor or roof joists that will be installed later. The ledger bracket is designed to be securely embedded in the concrete inside the wall. After the concrete is poured, recheck and chalk the elevation of the ledger and the layout pattern of the brackets. Use the chalk line as a guide for elevation. You can use the tie flanges to temporarily tack the ledger in place while fastening. Transfer that layout pattern to the ledger material and fasten the J-shaped portion of the bracket to the ledger board. Fasten the assembled ledger to the fixed brackets using self-tapping screws provided. Ledger brackets can also be used for attachment of interior walls. If using alternate means of ledger construction, consult the Quadlock product manual.